It's bedtime story time. Learn to love to read with Dr. Marcela Frasto every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on Facebook Live. Hi, everybody. Here we are. It's Wednesday, um, and that means it's story time. So I hope everybody's doing well after our Thanksgiving holidays. I uh, hope everybody got lots of rest and got lots of turkey. Uh, but we're in the last few weeks of school, I know that. So um, we want to make sure everybody is uh, doing well, staying healthy, and um, getting ready for the Christmas holidays. So we have a little book that, not quite Christmas, but moms and dads, uh, you may have this issue. And so we're going to talk about Too Many Toys. All right. This is Too Many Toys by David Shannon. Spencer had too many toys. They covered the floor of his bedroom and piled up in his closet. They were stashed under his bed. They spilled down the stairs and into the living room. Look at all that. All those toys. He had big toys in the backyard and little toys in the bathtub. Sometimes Spencer played with toys, quiet, wooden pull toys. Other times he played with noisy, crazy electronic toys. He had puzzles, board games, talking books that fueled his mind, and loud, jumpy, frenzied video games that didn't. Spencer liked to make his toys into a parade that stretched from one corner of the house to the other and back again. There was an entire zoo of stuffed animals and a gigantic army of little action figures. He had a fleet of planes, trains, and toy boats, and a convoy of miniature trucks and cars. He also had lots and lots of musical instruments, art supplies, and alien spaceman weapons. Everyone gave toys to Spencer. Of course, his mom and dad did, but so did Grandma, Bobo, and Poppy, and Granddaddy and Auntie Meme, and Uncle Fred, and Cousin Drew. They gave him toys for every holiday, even the 4th of July and his birthday. He also got toys from all his friends on his birthday, and on their birthdays too when he went to their parties. He got toys at the drive through with his kid burger, and at school for having lots of peace person points, and at the dentist, and the doctor when he didn't squirm. That's a lot of people, a lot of toys. That's a lot of toys, right? They were becoming a household hazard. Have you ever stepped on a Lego piece in your bare feet or a jack? Well, it really hurts, especially if you weigh as much as Spencer's dad. You can also trip on things like railroad tracks and race cars if you're carrying a load of laundry. One day, Spencer's mom had had it up to here with all the toys. Spencer, she yelled on her way upstairs, you have too many toys. That's impossible, thought Spencer. Then she said, we're going to get rid of some of them. That's a catastrophe. Pick out which toys you don't want, she ordered, and put them in this box. But I love them all, Spencer cried. All right, his mother said, I'll help you. She picked up an alien space ninja. How about this one? You haven't played with this in years. But I was just about to. Spencer, his mother said, it doesn't have a head. I'm making him a new one, Spencer replied. Fine. And Spencer said, but this can definitely go. She put down the alien and picked up a filthy one-eared bunny. Not Mr. Fluffer's mom. How could you? This one then, she said. That's Mr. Fluffer's best friend. This one? Mother, have you forgotten? Grandma Bobo gave that to me on my fourth birthday, and I'll never be four again, ever. Oh, please, Spencer, his mom said, rolling her eyes. Don't be so dramatic. Okay, she said. You can keep that one, but I'm giving away this pig and the Johnny Choo Choo. Tell you what, countered Spencer, I'll let you have the pig, but I get Johnny Choo Choo. What are you, a lawyer now? Asked Spencer's mother. You can keep Johnny Choo Choo, but the cow goes in the box too. 
deal. How about the two Gitchibi uh, Goomies instead, said Spencer, and I'll throw in a little peeper of your choice. How about all of them go in the box or you don't watch TV for a week? Spencer decided it was his best interest to agree. Deal. Finally, some toys in the box, sighed Spencer's mom. I had no idea this would be so much work. She plopped on the floor and next to an egg-shaped pirate that bellowed, Arr! I guess your scurvy dog has your yog, dervy yon, dervy yog. There's another one you can do without, she said. No problem, said Spencer. His mom nearly fell over. What? You're going to give it up just like that? Sure, Spencer replied. That's dad. So Spencer and his mom went through every toy box and looked in every closet and under every bed until they had haggled and wrestled and argued over every toy in the entire house. Finally, they were finished. And his mom had a cup of hot tea and a short rest. Then she went upstairs to begin loading the toys into the car. But instead of a nice, neat box of toys all ready to go, she saw a big, messy pile of toys all over the floor. Spencer, she screamed, what have you done? We had a deal. You're right, Mom, Spencer called from his bedroom. I do have too many toys, but we can't give away this box. It's the best toy ever. That is too many toys. As you can see, Spencer had way too many toys. Moms and dads, I know um, this is not an uncommon problem. Many of you have uh, toys all over your house. Um, For the little ones, the big ones, they all have toys. Now, uh, Christmas is coming up, you know, and so kids are making their wish list list and what they would like for uh, Christmas. But when you're going through those toys, mom, you may want to consider carrying down a little bit those toys that your kids are not using anymore there's a lot of organizations here in town that take gently used toys uh, for other kids that are not as fortunate and so that's a nice way of teaching your child how to kind of um, you know continue the kind of sharing their uh, toys that may not be using or they've outgrown um, but also when you go through the toys because some of them like I said they've outgrown uh, or they're not safe uh, toys they've been broken things like that well let's get rid of those uh and then pick toys that your child is going to you know pick something they're gonna just uh, just a fun toy something to learn um an educational toy sometimes they don't seem very fun but they can actually be fun electronics are okay once in a while but as you can see by the end of this story spencer just loved the box and the box creates um imagination uh ideas things that the kids will uh you would not think they would enjoy or maybe a simple toy something as simple as a box but then they get to use those imaginary skills that they have and we want to encourage those so when you're picking your toys make sure they're age appropriate uh make sure they're safe as well and maybe make sure uh and then make sure that they're going to be something that's going to allow them to expand their uh imagination all right uh if toys are uh you know electronics and they don't give them really much of an impact or their interaction the impact is less so think about that um kids are going to get a lot of toys from grandmas and grandpas and maybe uh going through a pile of of toys and getting rid of some of those toys is not a bad thing uh but please take advantage of some of the churches some of the organizations in town that take some gently gently used toys and and other kids can benefit from them all right so i hope everybody enjoyed spencer and his too many toys moms and dads maybe it's time to start cleaning up a little bit uh everybody have a great day uh great rest of your week and be safe out there remember we still need to wear a mask um if your child is five years and old i would encourage you all to get vaccinated for covid uh the paso children's hospital uh a pass uh providence hospitals do have um appointment time so you need to go online set up a time for your child to get their COVID vaccine the holidays we're all spending together indoors we need to protect our uh, our those that are most vulnerable so we need to get vaccinated so we can reduce the spread of COVID uh, infection so let's get online let's stay stay healthy let's finish up these last few weeks of school and we'll see you next week bye